Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Creators on the Crest. I'm Stephanie, and this is your reading for April 16th through the 30th. We'll start off the reading today with a card for your overall energies, and then we'll take a look at what your specific energies are in this situation, and then the energies connected to you. And then we'll see how those mingle and dance in the middle. And then I'll close off the reading with an oracle card for the Gemini Collective. Do keep in mind, these are general readings, so only take what resonates. You can try your sun, moon, rising, and north node for additional context. If you're interested in a personal reading, I will have links in the description below. And you can find me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Creators on the Crest. Okay, Gemini, let's get into your reading. So looking at the time frame of the 16th through the 30th, we're going to pull a card from the Major Arcana only of the Rider Waite Tarot. So I am tuning in to the Gemini Collective here, and this card came right on out. And you got the High Priestess, Gemini. So quite a a card of what I'm getting is fine tuning, like spiritual fine tuning, a very balanced energy coming in for you. I really like what I'm seeing here. I'm really sensing that for some of you, this is a long time coming, feeling in this place of spiritual authority within yourself. For some of you, it's within your feminine energies, which is quite refreshing, quite nice. Let's go ahead and get further into this reading because I'm really interested to see what the High Priestess is looking over here during this time frame for you. So that's your overarching energy. We're going to accept that. I'm going to put out some cards for you. And now the energy connected to you. All right and how these energies are mingling in the middle. Yep. Ooh, okay. Gemini. Definitely we have some interesting activities going on here. And true to Gemini form, they tend to be over here and then over there, so a little bit of a little bit of a mix. On your side, you get the Knight of Cups the Five of Swords, and the Two of Cups. So at this time, you're really focused on an energy of love and moving toward love. Not quite sure yet if it's this other energy you're dealing with or something maybe personal in your own life. You're filling your own cup. There is this element of conflict in the middle of everything, a little bit of a challenge, but I feel that at the same time, you either know that you will be victorious over this or you are soon to find that out. The energy connected to you, they get the <clears throat> Ace of Cups and the Nine of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. So they're showing me a brand new energy of love too, opening up perhaps to love. And at the same time, they're showing me a bit of cautious energy. So in the past, they may have had some exchanges that didn't go so well, or this person could be dealing with something in their career, in their work life, in their finances that is offering them a bit of a challenge right now. So they could be open to love, but maybe not moving toward it or open to something new in if you're in a, a long term relationship, they're opening to something new, but their focus is kind of elsewhere. In the connecting energies, we get the chariot and the moon. Coming in right under that high priestess, these are major arcana energies coming into the connection here. So the connection itself is going through some sort of big forward momentum change, but also kind of burning past those shadows. So it's very interesting that we have the moon there. Let's get some clarifiers and see if we can't get more detail here for you. Wonderful. Gemini's. This is interesting because I'm not yet seeing you like really like put yourself out there in this reading. This is more internal, more heart-based. 
To clarify the, the Knight of Cups for you, in this deck it's the Prince of Cups, but that's equivalent to the Knight of Cups, you get the Three of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. Wow, you have really, really, really worked hard on healing heartbreak in your life. Up until this point of your life, you have experienced some heartache, you've experienced some pain, but what you're showing me is that you have worked really hard on healing and I'm feeling that the energy has actually moved. I'm feeling it move in my body. So really nice work here, Gemini, in matters of love in the heart and being hurt from maybe past experiences that you're actually working on the healing energies quite strongly here. That is the Eight of Pentacles is a hardworking energy. So you may have put yourself through anything from like a, a rehab to a special, you know, addictions program all the way to you might have just uh, had some talk therapy or had a reading done or something like that. But definitely healing focused here could be healing your body as well, some of you. Let's look at this Five of Swords. It's clarified by the Eight of Cups, the World card, and another Five of Swords. Whew. So you had the Three and Four of Swords, and the Five of Swords, of course, is the natural progression there. One of the things that I believe you're being encouraged to work on is to be able to look at cycles ending, not always being the final end of things. So allowing chapters to close, allowing yourself to be patient for the sequel of whatever's coming next. There may be, for some of you, there's a bit of an element of unknown here. Something could be up in the air with that world card you tend to kind of be not wanting to deal with this particular phase. There may be the tendency for you to turn away, but remember when I first read the initial Five of Swords, I got the feeling that you knew somehow, or you will know soon that you will be victorious over these energies and over this transitional period where you're moving from one energy to the next. I do think this has to do with love, relationships, and your heart. Okay, let's look at this Two of Cups because Two of Cups is a lovely energy of partnership. And I see two people meeting each other uh, with a very respectful stance here. And to clarify the two of cups for you, the death card, the king of pentacles and the page of pentacles. Wow. So you're taking me through a whole new way that you're going to be approaching love and partnership. There is the pain of the past that you've been putting a lot of healing work toward. And with the death card coming in, that tells me you're going to let it go. You are allowing this cycle to come to a close and you are grounding yourself in a new level of perhaps self-responsibility. This may be a time where, yes, you are focused on partnership. For those of you that aren't in a relationship, what you're doing is you're building the foundation within yourself so that you can come into a very nice, equal, give and take type of a partnership. You're very curious about this. You're you're willing to, to learn and trust yourself here with that page of pentacles. All in all, I really like the energies you're moving through, Gemini. This is really nice progress, even though at times it might seem really challenging, okay? You know that if you keep working on healing as you go, that you will figure this out. Okay, this Ace of Cups for the person connect, connected to you is clarified by, I've got too many cards there, but this one's definitely coming out on top. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Hierophant. So now this person, interesting, they, they also want to have this new beginning based in a very stable energy because they get that 10 of pentacles and a very complete energy they may have the tendency to not feel like they can 
really move into a partnership, even though that's the natural progression for them, until their physical world is in order in some way. Uh, they tend to maybe shy away or still be closed off to an offer of love or a an offer of a different cycle in love here. But the Hierophants coming in for their spiritual authority, and that would be related to the high priestess of the overall energy. So this person would also be bringing in something very, something coming up out of their subconscious into their spiritual awareness and into how they're looking at things. This might be a person who possibly has struggles with going with the flow. So if you're in a long-term situation and this is kind of a, a transition time for you, maybe you've moved locations, homes, they could be in a new job perhaps. They're really focused on the stability factor and their heart, it's not that it's not open, I sense that it's open. It's just that their focus is on something else. So they may miss some of the subtle subtleties. If you know you're out dating and this person just, you know, they might feel kind of hot and then cold a bit. So it might be a little confusing to you, but I, I think you're very focused too on your own healing journey and, and where you're going with things and, and the kind of relationships that you want that you're not that doesn't you know throw you off entirely let's look at this nine of of wands for them <clears throat> it's clarified by the two of swords the ten of wands and the three of cups so yeah this person has a difficult time segregating the how they think about things and think about their physical world with how, how they feel that they can move forward spiritually. And so it's, it's really interesting, but what they find every time they get into these kind of confusing thoughts about that, or they let themselves go down that path of thinking, it tends to weigh them down it tends to weigh them down and that just kind of contributes to them being more cautious about opening up. Yet they have this three of cups here. I almost wonder if for this person, you know how if you're in a long-term relationship and maybe you've been noticing and, and saying something to your partner about, hey, have you noticed this, that you do this, or this is your tendency, or this is your pattern? and you know, and you've spoken to them about it and they just don't get it, they just don't get it. And then somebody totally random, a friend or, you know, a family friend or, you know, an uncle, somebody just comes in and all of a sudden says to them one little thing and they're like, oh, I totally do that. And then they get it. <laughs> so you, but you've known it all along and you've been trying to tell them, that's the energy I get here. Like, somebody totally unrelated to them or some situation maybe even at work is going to happen to help them realize some of this little cycle that they're stuck in but i feel like for those of you that are in established relationships you've known it and you you've addressed it and they just haven't been able to see it for themselves there could be a little bit of an ego barrier there and that's not a bad thing her egos are are helpful at times and it, that came from somewhere um probably even before you all right the three of pentacles for them is clarified by the two of cups so there they have that partnership energy finally coming in the seven of pentacles and the emperor yes they want to grow this and and if this is um new they they want to come together they want to bring things together uh they want to do it though very stably speaking right they've got the emperor that's aries energy that's you know they work they go they do that's action type energy with the seven of pinnacles which were nurturing the physical world elements again you know i feel like this person um they might be a, a Taurus or there might be Taurus energy here. There might be a bit of stubbornness coming in on, on 
their end here about this stability. Really, I sense that they're okay. They're actually okay in their stable nature. They're, they're more stable than they think they are but they tend to get their mind wrapped into matters of stability and, and matters of practicality. And they have more of a pragmatic approach than perhaps you do here. Your, your energies tend to come more from the heart space. Do keep in mind these readings, since they are general, roles could be reversed <laughs> in here so that you'll have to determine who's who. All right, let's look at this chariot energy in the middle here, Gemini, and clarify that. <laughs> Two cards come out. Interesting. You've got a lot of progression type energies here. On landing more on the Gemini side here, if this is you, is the three of wands. And on their side is the two of wands to clarify the chariot. I'm not sure that the two of you are moving forward quite yet with the momentum that both of you would like or with the momentum that the connection would like to go next, because remember that comes together, it creates this third energy. We have all this happening under the high priestess. There, There is some sort of spiritual evolution here, natural spiritual evolution to this connection. On your side, you're kind of, you're, you're planning for it. You're, I feel like aware of it. And on their side, I they've come into a knowing of it but they're still holding on to, to the physical world elements. So this this could be something quite, um, I don't want to say minuscule, but like this could be something actually quite easy for them to overcome. They're just like one little small pace behind as far as opening up to this. You're not really moving. I, I kind of feel like you might be kind of waiting for them to have this realization so that the two of you can move forward with some plans. I mean, this could be something like you're waiting for a job opportunity to come through, one or the both of you. One of you is waiting for to find out if so-and-so, you know, a member of your family's taken vacation so you can plan the family vacation. It could be a matter like that. And, um, you know, it could be a simple thing like that that's going on in the connection. So there's some sort of pause. And the moon is clarified by the Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. The Six of Pentacles comes up on your side and the Queen of Cups comes up on their side. So, ooh, I like this because I feel that as each of you kind of continues on your journey here, Whatever is in the shadows is going to be illuminated in the proper way for you. And I like that the pinnacles, which I saw kind of more heavily um, integrated on their side as being more their focus, even though you have it, you have the six of pinnacles and it's a really balancing energy. I get a sense of a Libra kind of energy here. You may have that in your chart or it could be a significant part of your chart. And then they're coming in with that queen of cups. So that really is reassuring because I was feeling for them that they weren't always connected in with their heart. Like the two of you want the same things, but that you on, on this side, you were more connected with your heart. But here they're, they're coming in and I feel like the energy they're con contributing is that of love. And they have just had a different path to learning how to fill their cup here with this. But all in all, even though there are some challenging energies, I think the both of you are handling this quite well and always landing somehow in love, just kind of coming at it from different paths. All right, Gemini, let's get a card from the Sacred Traveler Oracle to close off your reading here. And you get narrow pathway and it says tread thoughtfully, which is really interesting because the two of you are coming at things from very different directions and in different ways. It says here, do not make any quick decisions, think things through. 
Tread carefully. If you rush into anything, there are potential difficulties. Keep very focused and do not allow yourself to be distracted. Your project will succeed if you go slowly. The relationship will grow, but don't be in a hurry. Let it all emerge in its own time. Be thoughtful in all the areas of your life. Wow, yeah, so at times, Gemini, this might have felt like you were kind of walking a tightrope in the relationship or creating this new approach to relationships for yourself. And maybe you really were, energetically speaking. But I like that encouragement of staying focused and of bringing in some patience to this situation. I think that will really help. It has been so nice to be back on camera. I feel like it's been a minute. I've put out some readings that were top down on the cards. It's so nice to see everybody again and be able to come to you with these face-to-face -face readings. Please uh, comment if this resonated. Let me know how you felt about it. And I can't wait to see you next time.